Hi, this is Todd with The Land of Math. In this video, we're looking at how you can find angles when you have two parallel lines and a transversal. Some of the rules, a few examples, and at the very end, we're also going to have it where we have two parallel lines and two different transversals. So all that's coming up next on The Land of Math. One of the first things we want to look at are some basics when we're using two parallel lines with a transversal. So here are the basics. Number one, we have two parallel lines, the one right here and here. The line that intersects both of those is referred to as the transversal, and this is going to create eight different angles. Okay. The first angles we're going to look at are the interior angles. Now, angles 3, 4, 5, and 6 are the interior angles, and they're basically between these two parallel lines. Angle 3 and 6 are what we call alternating interior angles, and they're going to have the same measurement. 4 and 5 are also alternating interior, and they'll have the same measure. Exterior angles. These are the angles that are outside or not between the parallel lines. So angles 1, 2, 7, and 8. Angles 1 and 8 are what we call alternating exterior angles, and they're going to be the same, and the same with 2 and 7. They're the same measurement. Vertical angles. Vertical angles are angles that are directly across from each other, and they have the same measurement. So angles 2 and 3 are the same. Angles 1 and 4 are the same. 5 and 8 are also vertical, and 6 and 7 are vertical as well. Adjacent angles. Adjacent angles are angles that are next to each other, and they're going to equal 180 degrees. So angle 1 and 2 are adjacent. They'll equal 180. Angle 2 and 4, they're adjacent. 4 and 3 are adjacent. And finally, 3 and 1, they're adjacent. If you're looking at this sum of all the intersecting angles, so if we look at angles 5, 6, 7, 8, all four of those angles together are going to equal 360 degrees. All right, next we're going to find missing angles. We're going to be given one, and we're going to use that angle and the rules to help us find the other seven. So let's say this is 30 degrees. So we know the angle directly across from it is a vertical angle, and it's the same. So we already have one angle right here. It's 30 degrees. Now, the angle, these two angles right here equal 180, so we could just subtract the 30, and we figure out that this is 150. Now, we know the missing angle up top here is vertical from 150, or it would be adjacent with the other two. Either way you want to try to solve it, it's going to equal 150 degrees. You can take any of these angles and just slide it right down the transversal. So the angle up here 30 degrees, we could just slide it right down here, and it's the exact same angle. And we could do the same with the 150. We can just slide it down. Or you could even just say, well, it would be adjacent to the 30 degree angle. And now we're just filling in the rest of these. The, the 30 degrees is vertical from each other. And then the other missing angle is the 150. And so those two are vertical as well. <clears throat> Here's another example. So these two angles right here are vertical. So this is a quick one to get. It's 105. You could take the 105 degrees and slide it up the transversal. And you would get the same angle. It's 105. And then these two right here are vertical from each other. So you'll notice all the obtuse angles are all the same, in this case, 105. Now we're going to start to fill these in with the one angles that are acute. So these two right here have to equal 180. So we just go 180 minus 105, and we get 75. These two angles are vertical angles, so they're the same. You could slide the 75 straight up, and you get 75 degrees up there. And then our final one, you could say that it's vertical from the 75 degree, it's opposite interior if you wanted to do that, or so on. All right, last example. So these two angles right here are adjacent. So this would be like a 75 degree angle. Now this one's different because the parallel lines are going up and down. Um, so this right here would be 75. The, the 75 and this angle are vertical. These two are vertical. So this is 105. And now we can just slide stuff straight down the transversal. So take the 75 degree here and just slide it down, or slide it over, and you get the 75 degrees here. You could do the same thing with the 105 if you wanted. Those two angles right there are vertical, so that's an easy one. You can see here we're going to slide the 105 down, but you could also use the rules for adjacent angles as well. All right, and finally we kind of check our work. We can see our alternating exterior angles are the same. Alternating interior angles are the same, and we have all of our adjacent angles are all adding up to 180. So everything right now is looking pretty good. All right, so now we're going to make it a little bit more challenging. Now we have two transversals with our two parallel lines. 
So we're going to start, we're going to assume that we know two of the angles. So angle four is 60 degrees and angle 10, or I'm sorry, angle 13 is 110 degrees. So we can start filling in the angles that we know. Angle 10 and 13 are both um, vertical angles, so we can do that one pretty easy. We know that angle 9 and 10 together are adjacent angles, so 180 minus 110 is 70. 9 and 14 are vertical angles, so 14 must be 70 degrees. Now, next we're going to look at the 60 degree. Angle 4, we can literally just slide it straight down the green transversal, and we'll find out that angle 11 is 60 degrees. 11 and 8 are both vertical angles, so 8 is going to be the same as 11, which is 60 degrees. 7 and 8 together equals 180, so if we subtract, we get 120 for angle 7, and angle 12 has to be the same, so it's 120 degrees. Now you're going to notice that the angles that are intersecting here and over here both equal 360, but the angles are different. So it's going to make it a little bit more challenging trying to get the angles up here on the top. So start with the one we know. Angle 3 and angle 4 are vertical, so they're the same. Angle 6 and angle 14, if we would slide angle 14 straight up the transversal, it would be the same as angle 6. And then angle 6 and angle 1 are vertical angles, so they're the same. That leaves us with two angles, 2 and 5. Now there's a variety of ways of getting it. Angle 4, 5, and 6 are going to equal 180. Or if you look at angles 8, 9, and 5, that's the angles inside of a triangle, and they're going to equal 180. So however you want to do it, angle 5 is going to equal 50 degrees. You could add the 60 and 70 and take it away from 180, and that would give you 50. Angle 2 and 5 are vertical, so once we know 5, 2 is the same. Well, hopefully this video was helpful. Um, we would love it if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And we will see you next time on The Land of Math. <music>